time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this wrap. Movie review started. This past weekend here has been July 4th weekend. You know the big Independence Day in America we celebrate. And I even went live last night showing a lot of the fireworks that going on all night long. So you know this morning I'm tired. <laughs> but also this weekend I watched the movie, what, how do you say it? Mana Karnika, the Queen of Johnson. And I'm going to tell you, I loved it. First of all, what? timing of this movie i just thought the timing of this for me to watch it was particularly interesting because in the movie you know the, the mana carnita and and the town of john singh and, and pretty much many of the places in india were all like controlled by the british which they were mean or red coats <laughs> at that time right so and they're trying to get their freedom from it what a weekend to watch it because this is our celebration of our independence from the British, us getting the freedom from the British, having to fight, you know, the American Revolutionary War, as we, we call it. I don't know what the British calls it, the losers, <laughs> the, the loser war. But what a timing for me to watch this. As I'm watching it, it's just reminding me of like our own country's struggles, you know, under the power of Britain. And, and getting our freedom from it. And this movie stars the Kanga. Oh, I know the Kanga. I know. I mean, I've seen her in other stuff, but what do I particularly know more about the Kanga? It's like from her political views. She's very strong in her political views. I mean, what there was even times when people were like, oh, they're going to go arrest the Kanga and, and all that stuff. So I was like, oh, seeing her in this, I was like, could they not have picked a more perfect role? Could they not have picked a more perfect person to play this, the queen, what, Mana Carnita, the queen, because she, like, kind of embodied her. She was, she was tough and strong. Oh, first of all, her fighting skills, but then also just her stances on stuff. She stood for her people. She stood by her people. She fought to, to blood and death and all that for the freedom and what she believed in. And I, and powerful, and I was just like, Kanga in this movie, like you felt it. You felt it deep down in your bones, just her intensity and passion and power. I was just like, oh, Kanga, this may be really, this movie had me really loving some Kanga. I love me a movie based on historical events because I feel like I can be entertained watching everything, but also learn something. And I have learned lots in this, lots in this with the man of Carnita. Do I, do I say that? Mana Karnika? Mana Karnika. What a powerful figure, especially a woman figure. I mean, that's one thing maybe in history, especially like here in American history and stuff, it's hard to, you don't see many like women figures standing out in, in that powerful way. I mean, they'll, they'll have some that come out and you're like, oh, you know, we look upon them, but she was a warrior. She was a fighter. And... I mean, I was just like entranced by her, just her power and spirit, but she also her empowerment of other women. Like that part in the movie when, you know, they were like, how many fighters we got? And they're like, we have this many men. And she's like, well, what about women? And I was like, look at the man of Carnita. Like she stands behind the women in all the ways. Like women, what did she say in like a speech? She's like, women have given childbirth. Like we know how to take on some pain and suffering and all that. We can fight. We can fight. And she's like, Get, let's, women, join me. Get behind me. Fight for our, our independence and, and, and our respect of India. Oh, that's what I love when she said, our respect of India. Now, y'all might know I've been all about watching, you know, learning about the Mahala Kali too. Y'all probably seen the videos, the Mahala Kalis I've been reacting to and stuff and learning more about her. Just the, the warrior goddess who's also like the motherly love and and but but you make her mad she can come and 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 give you stick out that tongue and 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 show her show you her wrath you know and watching this movie the nods to mala maha mahakali 
Like they had that one part I reacted to like that song and you and she's fighting and but then you see the Mahali Kala statue behind her. Even in this movie, like she was there was this part where she was dreaming Mahali Kala and Mahali Kali stuck out her tongue and stuff and she woke up. I was just like that this is like a perfect movie to get those nods to the powerful for motherly goddess, but also the, the, the goddess that embodies like the warrior and, and the fighting and the powerful spirit that will protect her people. They had their sad moments too. They did. I mean, their happy moments. She was pregnant and, and had the little baby, the little, the son and everything. And, and she didn't stand for nothing. Remember, she was going to have that celebration for the baby. And they were like, oh, you can't have a celebration. She's like, do not celebrate with the Queen Victoria and all them. She's like, we're having this celebration. Then they had that celebration for the baby and, and gave it the name and and then they're just, her and her husband, they're just sitting on the bed and the baby, she goes to lay down and it, oh, it's, it's not a lot. It, like it passed away and I just started crying. Oh, don't even get me start. I'm going to start crying now talking about, I, oh, oh no. All right. <laughs> but because I'm thinking of her, just the heartbreak she suffered through that and everything. That one hit me right in the gut, a punch in the gut. And then, oh, and that, that's how they had that turncoat guy. That one guy who, you know, they were going to take the son and adopt that son. That one guy. And, and then that other little boy came up and she recognized right away. She's like, that's my son. And that and they're like, oh, you know, the son chooses their mother. And that's who they adopted. But then that guy got mad. And he was the one at the end that was from the downfall. Like he showed him the breaches and, and the wall and everything. Oh, I didn't I know it's based on the true events. So they stay stick by that. But when Mahalik, when she was, oh uh, man, Karnika was shot and she was still fighting to her death. She was like, I'm shot, but I'm going to still get you. And then she just went and stood in the flames and burned up. Oh, because he wanted her alive. Remember that one officer guy? He's like, I want her alive. I want her alive. Get me to her alive. Because he wanted to be the one to kill her. And she saw that. She was shot. And she saw him and she's like, oh, you ain't taking me. And she just went and stood in that fire, not even screaming. I get a little bird and I'm like, ah! <sighs> powerful, powerful. We can't talk about one of these movies without talking about the special effects, which were amazing. The costumes, hello, beautiful, beautiful. Just all of it. I mean, it, it, this movie I really enjoyed. I loved it. I love, y'all know I like the history stuff, but also the, the dance numbers, the songs, just, oh. Y'all can't tell. This one, I really enjoyed. Uh, maybe it was too, also because the time when here we're celebrating our independence and watching this movie and they're fighting for their freedom and respect and independence from the nasty British. So I, maybe that gave me a little extra, you know, pride in it. But I enjoyed it. I did. I thought it was great all around. I'm wish. I'm like, how did I not know about this movie before then? Because it's only a couple years old. You've seen it. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that down there. And, you know, this is my kind of movie. So if you have suggestions of things I'm like, that I can also view. Because I've been, um, after I watch this, I'm like, what other movies can I see about this historical time? When, you know, uh, a, a historical piece, a historical movie that I can watch about India and everything. So if you got some suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, mwah!